Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm taking a look at a new WordPress plugin called Canva Kala. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. I apologize in advance if I'm not. I'm going to fully admit, when I first heard about Canva Kala, I wasn't really sure what to make of it. I wasn't really sure that there was even going to be a need for it. You see, Canva Kala is a plugin that's designed to expand on WordPress's built-in image functionality. It's designed to let you easily find images that you can use on your WordPress blog and then edit those images so that they suit the needs that you have in your blog post. And honestly, for the longest time, I was just going over to Google and I was searching for images and then I was using a paint program to edit those images so I really wasn't sure if there was a need for a plugin like this but now that I've been using the plugin for a while I'm gonna say that it actually is much more easy using this plugin it really is a time saver and it really makes finding images and editing the images for your blog much more simple because everything is now in one place everything is right inside of WordPress so I don't have to go over to Google and search around and try to find an image that is royalty free and then I don't have to open up a paint program and edit it and save it and then upload it to WordPress and add it into my blog. Canva Call is a tool and like any good tool what it does is it makes your life easy and the way it makes your life easy is that it builds everything right inside of your WordPress post so that way you can find the royalty free images you can edit the royalty free images and you can add them right inside of your blog posts as you're editing and writing the post itself so let me actually show you exactly how the plugin works so here I am, I'm creating a new post on a test blog, and you can see it has added a Canva Kala button inside of the post editor. It's right next to the Add Media button. And now that I have the Canva Kala plugin, I'm actually never going to need to use the Add Media button. Instead, when I want to add an image, I'll just use the Canva Kala button. So let me go ahead and click on the button, and I'll show you what you do. So here we are now, we're looking at the Canva Kala plugin, and you can see that the first step is going to be to find an image. Now, if you already have the image on your WordPress gallery, if you've already uploaded it into your WordPress blog, you can go ahead and click on the WordPress gallery tab. However, most people are going to need an image, so they're going to search for an image first. So I'm going to go ahead and search for an image. I'm just going to search for software. And it's going to ask me a couple of questions now. First, it's going to ask me what type of image do I want to look for? Do I want to find any kind of image, like a photo image or a painting or anything, or do I only want a clip art? I'm going to search for all of the images. It's going to ask me for what type of attribution. And attribution means the credit that I need to give to the author of the image. So am I okay with giving credit to the author? Am I okay with putting a little footnote in the bottom of my post, giving credit to the author? If I am, I can type in any attribution. If I want something that's completely royalty free that I could use without giving any credit to anybody, I could select on no attribution. And that's actually what I'm going to select. I'm going to select no attribution. I don't want to put links in the footer of my posts and honestly I kind of thought that I was going to catch them with this I kind of thought that they weren't going to be filtering like this uh, because I've seen other plugins that didn't do this but I was really impressed to see that they had the foresight to realize that not all images are going to be able to be used without giving credit to the author I really think it's cool that they put this filter in here that allows you to select images that are credit free and completely royalty free the next thing it's going to ask me is what site do I want to search for my image. You can search through Pixelbay, Flickr, uh, Instagram, there's a couple of other ones in here as well. The two big ones are probably going to be Pixabay and Flickr. I'm actually going to search Pixabay. Once I have everything set the way I want, I have my search criteria set, all I have to do is go ahead and click on the search button, and you can see very quickly it has just returned a lot of images that I can now use without having to give any credit to anybody. These are completely royalty-free images that I'm free to use on my site. There are actually 163 results for the generic search term software. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to find one that I like. And uh, I think this is just pretty cool. I think this head image is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and check that and use that for my testing. Now that I have selected the image that I want, you can see on the right-hand side there's a button that says Edit Image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Edit Image button. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to need to edit about this is it's too big. This is way too big for me to use inside of a blog post. Uh, I'm going to need to shrink it down a little bit. So I'm going to click on the Resize button. 
on the left hand side now I can enter my new height or my new width for the image so I'm gonna go ahead and enter my new width and I'm gonna make it 350 pixels wide and you can see it automatically resizes the height now I kinda wish that it didn't resize with a decimal that's actually kind of a little uh, quirk inside of the software because there are no decimal heights they really should have rounded that up in the code uh, but it's not a problem that they're doing that it's just a weirdly a little bit of a weird thing with the display I don't really consider that a bug um, because it's not going to cause any issues now that I have my image resized I can go ahead and add any effects that I want so there are a couple of ways to add effects I can go to the effects button and I can select any of the many effects that they give you so I can turn it black and white grayscale I can bump it I can make it a circle smear there's all the effects that you would expect in any type of paint program they're all built right into Canva Kala I can also go to the manually effects right here and I can manually adjust the image so I can adjust things like its hue its noise its exposure its diffusion again this is everything that you would expect in a professional paint program so let me just go ahead and adjust some of the settings here. I, first thing I want to do is make it a little bit brighter. So I'm going to adjust the brightness and turn that up a little bit. And I'm also going to adjust the contrast. I want the contrast between colors to be a little greater. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit as well. And you can see as I'm adjusting it actually adjusts the image preview. So I can see exactly what it's going to look like as I'm doing the adjustment. I am going to turn the red up a little bit make the red pop out a little more. There we go and let me now go over to the full effects section and I want to turn on its sharpness I want to increase the sharpness and I'm going to do this automatically with the sharpness effect all right so that looks really good I like the way that looks now it really pops out and I think it's going to show up in my blog I can now add other things to it as well I can add additional images if I want to I can add shapes if I want to add in some shapes into it I can draw right on the image if I want to but what I want to do though is add some text I want to put a little bit of text over my image so to do that I'm gonna go ahead and click on the text button I'm gonna click on add text and I'm just gonna type in my text right here and then I can simply drag and drop the text so that it's positioned the way I want it to be now I can further edit this image if I want to but I'm actually pretty happy with it the way it is right now so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the insert image button and insert it right inside of my post so now I have a royalty free edited image right inside of my post I didn't have to leave my blog I didn't have to go search on Google I didn't have to open up my paint program and mess with that and then export it from my paint program and upload it to WordPress everything was done right inside of WordPress right inside the post as I was making the post and it's really easy to see how this is much easier and how this is a time saver and what's really great about this is it's exactly the kind of thing that I tell people that they should look for in a software it's a tool it's a tool that makes your life easier and that is the mark of a good tool but this isn't the only thing you can do with this there's actually some more things you can do and I want to show you right now so let me go ahead and I'm gonna go and click on the Canva color button again and I'm gonna do another quick search and I'm gonna say funny search right here okay so now I can find a funny image let's pick this moose right here and I'm gonna edit the image I'm going to resize the image and I'm going to add a size that's ideal for a Facebook post so I'm going to go ahead and enter 550 pixels which is a good size for a Facebook post and I can edit this image further but it's just a clip art so what I want to do now is simply add some text to it I'm going to go ahead and click on add text and I'm just going to enter have a nice day you know have a nice weekend let me go ahead and change the font size a little bit so it fits inside of the moose's horns move that down a little bit there and you know what I want to change the border color as well so I'm going to change that to more of like a brown so it kind of matches the moose and then I'm going to add some more text right here let me move this to where I want I'll scroll down here so that I can see the editor for the second text and I'm going to put in my blog URL so I'm going to put in Brett Ritecki com and I'm going to make this much smaller 
and I'm going to make the color black. I want it to be a solid black text. And I'm going to change the font, something that's a little easier to read. And let me put this right in here. Oh, now to make it a little smaller. And you know what? Let me actually move this over there so it fits in better. There we go. Okay. So now I have an image that says, have a nice weekend, has a little funny moose on it, and has brettretecki.com. And this is going to be sized, like I said, ideal for a Facebook post. And the reason I did that is because what I can now do is go ahead and click on download image. So not only is the Canva Kala a plugin that's going to allow you to easily find royalty-free images, edit them, and add them inside of your WordPress blog posts, but it's also a tool that's going to allow you to create cool little funny mimes or little infographics or things that you can then download to your computer and then use for social networking posts. So I'm going to say the Canva Kala is a great little plugin. I'll be totally honest. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I, I do, but now that I've used it, I can see that it is a very very useful tool that is well worth considering. Alrighty guys, thank you and enjoy.